Our Defenders investigation found sex offenders living in nursing homes. Well, now we've discovered most nursing homes in the Carolinas don't have enough staff to properly give residents the attention recommended. One advocate told our Nathan Morabito, North Carolina's nursing home staffing is average, that it is frightening. This 2001 report to Congress recommends nursing homes should aim to provide 4.1 hours of direct care for every resident every day. The Carolinas are below that benchmark of four. North Carolina, on average, well below, closer to three. These are the faces of sex offenders who've registered their addresses as nursing and adult care facilities across North Carolina over the last year, including a man now charged with raping a fellow resident and murdering another. They've made it bad for people like myself who's not interested in any other crime. Sex offenders like Wesley Pentland say extreme cases like that one make it harder for people like him, who, in his words, are no longer a threat and need a place to live. It's been 20 years ago. But our discovery... I would be concerned, very concerned. ...prompted concerns from police and advocates. Be careful, be cautious, be thinking about the environment. Richard Mollett said these new federal numbers only make the situation even more frightening, especially critical, he says, for those concerned about sexual predators and resident safety. It's so important, 52 weeks out of the year. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no excuses because nobody wants to be raped on Christmas. A North Carolina industry group told us judging the quality of a nursing home based solely on staffing is misguided, saying both the number and quality of staff are important, adding recruiting and retaining staff is a significant challenge. That's why the North Carolina Health Care Facilities Association is working to increase resources. In the meantime, its recommendation, the best thing anyone can do to understand the care provided in any nursing home is to visit the nursing home in person. Even so, the advocate we spoke to wants this information out there so policymakers and you, the public, can see it. Want to see which nursing homes are staffed well and which ones are understaffed? You can find it all on WCNC.com. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.